Finland's Pertupinoinen is one of the best snowboarders in the world. Age 25, he's the reigning and four-time World Snowboard Tour champion. In 2011, he became the first person to win the TTR World Tour title three years in a row. The season before, Piroinen claimed silver at the Vancouver Winter Olympics. Next year, in Sochi, P2 will be looking to make the step up to P1. I first got into snowboarding after seeing it on the TV. It just looked so cool that I had to go and give it a try. So, one day, about 15 years ago, my dad brought me here. We rented a snowboard and I just got hooked straight away. On the World Snowboard Tour, Pertu competes in all three freestyle disciplines, slopestyle, halfpipe and big air. While his Olympic silver was achieved in the halfpipe, the four overall World Tour titles are a testament to his all-round ability. The Flying Finn is amongst the most feared riders in any competition. Up until now, my biggest achievements must be the Olympic medal from Vancouver and winning the TTR World Tour, or World Snowboard Tour, three times in a row. That was something no one had managed to do before. To achieve that type of success, you have to be very consistent throughout the whole season and avoid any injuries. Realistically, you need to finish in the top three or top five in all of the races in order to win the overall title. Following his remarkable three consecutive world titles, Pertu took something of a gap year to fulfill TV and sponsorship opportunities around the globe. He came back for the 2012-13 season in spectacular fashion. Facing off against Norway's Stola Sandbeck at the final event of the year, Piroinen made history by winning his fourth overall title. His manager is Maka Martikainen. Pertu rides boldly. That really must be the key to everything. He's very secure when he lands, and he's definitely one of the most focused riders in the world. When he needs to achieve something, Pertu will do it. There's always a point before a race when Pertu just goes totally silent and concentrates solely on the task at hand. And that focus must be one of the reasons why Pertu is now the best rider in the world. Petu's home is in Hvinka, a town in southern Finland, less than an hour's drive from Helsinki. It's known nationally for its golf courses and ski runs. Surrounded by dense pine forests, this is an idyllic location for an athlete to train. And it's where Petu first hit the slopes. Transworld Sport met up with Petu on his summer break, without a snowflake in sight. This is a pretty special place to me, as, growing up, I spent many of my winters training here. Nowadays I spend all my summers here, on the golf course instead. Being such a different sport, golf really is a perfect balance for snowboarding. And it's a fun way of spending time with your friends in the summer months as well. In the 2012-13 season, the World Snowboard Tour took in destinations as diverse as Beijing, New Zealand and Arctic Norway. Over the past 12 months, Petu has spent over 200 days abroad. Consistency is key for life on tour. But for a rider who's been referred to as the Iceman, that's not a problem. Petu Silva in Vancouver was the Finnish team's first medal at those games. As a result, his popularity back home soared, and he's remained one of Finland's biggest celebrities ever since. 
That was incredible. When we returned here to Hvinka to greet the public in the central plaza, you wouldn't believe the amount of people who showed up. People have received him really well, and after the Olympics, the number of interview requests we received simply exploded. If there hadn't been too many before, we've made up for it now big time. Snowboarding has evolved from when Peto began competing over 10 years ago. Three seasons back, the double cork made its debut, and the ante was up further with the emergence of the triple cork last season. Peto believes that nailing a new run is sometimes better than finishing in the top positions. If you want to do well in the competitions, you need to be amongst those riders who are the first to learn and develop new tricks. And you then need to make sure you have the ability to execute them really securely, so that you have them mastered for competition. Looking to the future, the biggest date on every winter sports fan's calendar is the Sochi Winter Olympic Games in February 2014. Petu's preparations for the Games began in earnest last year, with a packed event schedule bringing him back up to competition pace. A new inclusion at Sochi will be a slope-style snowboarding event. Makka Matekainen has a clear vision of Petu's prospects. The next thing we're heading towards is the Olympic Games. And, of course, the aim is to see Petu on the podium. That's what I believe we'll get to see, and it could well be in both disciplines. Naturally, it depends on how the beginning of the season goes, and we have to hope that he suffers no injuries. But, without doubt, everything is possible. It would be great to achieve a medal in the Olympics. Perhaps in the slope style, as that's a new discipline. In the longer term, I don't know how long I'll be able to continue to snowboard, as it's a pretty physically demanding sport. If I'm still able to compete, I would love to make it to the next Olympics after Sochi. After winning the first ever World Rookie Championships in 2004, Petu Pironen's ascent through snowboarding's professional ranks has been dramatic. With a bronze medal in slope style at last year's Winter X Games in Aspen adding to his Olympic silver, there's only one colour missing from Petu's collection. In the future, if he wants to start filming more or just go riding in the wilderness, that's what we'll do. After all, Petu is one of the few riders in the world who, with snowboarding, can do absolutely anything he chooses to. 2014 could well be the year that Petu Piroinen strikes gold. <laughs>